Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert writing lines into your Word document. There's two different techniques, either of which you might need. So do stay to watch the second technique, it may be what you're looking for. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my margins a little bit narrower. If you can see it, the rule is at the top here. They're not as narrow as we'd like. So if you can't see your rulers, go up to view and go along to ruler and make sure it's checked. So we're going to go to along to the layout tab and then along to margins, this icon here. Click on the drop down and I'm going to go down to narrow here. You can customize your margins if you want to by going to the bottom here, but I'm just going to stick with narrow at the moment. And as you can see, my margins are a little bit narrower. The next thing I'm going to do is to insert a table. So go up to insert, table, click on the drop down, go down to insert table. And I'm just going to have one column and 37 rows. And then just press OK. And whilst Word has inserted that table, the rows are quite narrow. So we're going to select the table. You can do that by clicking on this square at the top here, or just grab your mouse and click and drag it over your entire table. Then you need to go up to Layout, and then this section here that says Height. Now, for this particular demonstration, I've researched that the normal height of a line in a lined pad or notebook is 0.71 centimetres. So I'm just going to input that in there and press enter. And you can see what we've done is made an additional page. So just to take that page away, I'm just going to extend our margins a little bit more. So I'm just going to go over to the left here. And as you can see, when I hover my cursor over this section here at the bottom, it changes and I'm just going to click, a line comes up, and I'm just going to drag down. You can see that that second page disappears. So once you've got your lines in, you can see we've been left with just a table. But obviously we don't want these lines at the end and actually these black lines are quite prominent. So if you just want to reduce the color of these lines, just as something simple and gray, just select the table, just go to table design and go along to this section here, which is all about the borders and lines. So we need to first of all select the color of our lines or border lines. So click on the drop down and you can select any of these grays. I've selected quite a light gray, which I think was this one here. And then don't click off your table, go up to borders, click on the drop down and select all borders. And as you can see, it will change all of those lines to a faint gray. In addition, we want to get rid of these end lines. So again, select the table, go to table design and along to the borders icon here, click on the drop down, and we just need to uncheck left border and then again, right border. And as you can see now, we've been left with a page of perfect lines to write on. Now, the only disadvantage of this is that if we select an additional page, let's just press the Enter key at the bottom, you can see that in order to carry over these lines to the next page, you'd have to copy and paste. So you'd have to select it, copy it, go to Home tab, copy, or press Command or Control C, then Place your cursor at the top of the next page, go to paste, or you can use command or control V on your keyboard, and you have to paste it to the next page. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to print lots of pages out with those lines on them, then we're going to have to put this graph into our headers and footers. Now, with the headers and footers, the great thing about them is that whatever you put inside them, they will duplicate on every page. So let's select this table copy it, go up to the Home tab and select the Copy icon, delete it, and then double click at the top of your page. And once you double click, you can see now the headers and the footers icons will appear. And if I was just to paste Command or Control V, you can see that I only get half my table. If I try and do that in the footers, 
again, I only get half a table. So it doesn't work in that way. So we've got to trick Word a little bit and we've got to go to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then I'm just going to go to the top left corner here. Make sure you're still in the headers and footers. Click and drag a great big square or rectangle, sorry, and then go to home and then select paste. Now, if I just come off the headers and footers, you can see that my lines aren't in the middle and I've got this black border around the outside. So let's correct all of that. Go back in, click at the top of your page, double click at the top of your page or bottom, it doesn't matter. Select your text box. So go then to shape format, go along to the alignment tool here, click on the drop down and select align to center. And that will ensure that the text box is lined up perfectly in the center left to right. Now you can see there are a few lines missing at the bottom and they're very close to the top. So what we're going to do is just move that text box down with my arrow keys. Now I've centered it to where I want these lines to be. So we need to move this table into the center of our text box. You can see there's a big gap here and a very narrow gap here. So let's double click inside and you can see a little square appears in the top left corner. Just click on that to select the table. Then go up to the home tab and select center text and click. And that will center your table within your text box. So let's once again, just double click, click right down the bottom here and come out. So you can see we've centered the lines, but we need to get rid of the border of this text box. So click on the text box, make sure again you're in the headers and footers. This can be a little bit tricky if you've come out of the headers and footers and clicked on the main document and you can't seem to get back in. Just go right to the bottom of your document and double click and you'll go back into the headers and footers. Now just click on the edge of your text box, go up to shape format, go along to this icon here that says shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. And now if we click within our main document, you can see that our lines are now perfectly lined up left and right. I could do with probably nudging them down just slightly. So just go back inside, select the text box. I'm just going to hit my arrow key and then come back out. Now, if I now add a page, go up to insert page break, you can see that it's been copied straight across onto my next page and it will continue to do that with however many pages you decide to have in your document. And then you can print out several of these pages if that's what you need. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.